Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more fighting. Is Conor McGregor bare knuckle training, right? Now, I'm on Conor McGregor's verified Instagram account. Make sure you follow him at The Notorious MMA, and he's gearing up for UFC 205. Many people believe this is the strongest, biggest UFC card that has ever been put together. It is happening in November. Madison Square Garden, which is also a, uh, it's a milestone for the UFC as MMA was just legalized earlier this year. Now, Conor McGregor has the chance to set a personal record as being the first UFC fighter to simultaneously hold belts in more than one weight class at once, right? And he posted this, I am my second UFC world title. A lot of people are, are mad. I'm going to get to that about Jose Aldo later. But if Conor McGregor does beat champion at lightweight, Eddie Alvarez, he will be the first fighter in UFC history to hold titles simultaneously in two different weight classes. So a lot of people think this is a move to protect slash appease UFC's biggest star, their cash cow, their money maker, the guy with the motor mouth from Ireland. And it's a little bit unfair, just to be honest, with how long it's taken for him to defend the featherweight title but you know in all the fighting sports there's politics and the biggest stars usually get the most pardons and kind of get to bend the rules a bit and that's what we're seeing with UFC and again I'm going to talk about that when it comes to Jose Aldo and his recent statements in this video also but he's gearing up for UFC 205 a shot at a crack at the lightweight title and he posted this very cryptic like he always does he always posts these cryptic messages one word beg me or two words and it says bare knuckle which has a lot of people speculating that he's actually bare knuckle training now if you know bare knuckle boxing and the history of it it's very popular in the uk there's a lot of travelers a lot of irish that participate in it a lot of guys that have made names in the world of bare knuckle boxing like bobby gunn i watched a documentary on netflix not too long ago regarding bare knuckle boxing and bare knuckle fighting it was very entertaining and I don't know. This could be merely a photo op. One thing is he has he has the shin guard on. So is he really bare knuckle boxing, but protecting his, his shin? I know he got a leg injury in his last fight with Nate Diaz in the rematch, but I don't know. It could just be a cryptic message and, and a photo op, but maybe he is bare knuckle training. This guy, I don't know who this is, big burly looking dude. His face looks pretty tore up, a little busted nose and cut and stuff like that. So it's possible. It looks like Conor McGregor may have a black eye as well. So it's, it's definitely possible that he's bare knuckle fighting and training for his fight with Eddie Alvarez. You guys let me know what you think in regards to that. Is Conor McGregor using that as his method of training for lightweight champion Eddie Alvarez? Now also, former foe Jose Aldo is pissed with the UFC. He's trying to get released from his contract and I guess he fell out of love with, with fighting. And the reason being is he believes that he's owed a rematch, which he, he is in the featherweight division. As you guys know, he lost to Conor McGregor in 13 seconds. And he feels that he was promised opportunity to get his revenge. And because of Conor McGregor's star power and his A-side-ness in the, in the fighting game, he feels that Conor McGregor is just running the UFC and just really doing whatever he wants. There's no doubt Conor McGregor is a huge star. This is the Call of Duty game that's coming out next month, I believe. And he has a, a feature in it as, as one of the villains. So Conor McGregor, he's marketable. You see him with the celebrities, with the guys like Drake and U2's Bono. Clearly a star, but other fighters seem to be pretty pissed about it. The Diaz brothers, I've seen them speak out like. And Jose Aldo is basically saying, we're not here to be in Conor McGregor's organization this is supposed to be the UFC and not run by one man but it seems that Conor McGregor has a lot of pull in the UFC so Jose Aldo he's um, trying to get with his team and his lawyers to get released from his UFC contract he says he doesn't want to go anywhere else he says even if a Conor McGregor rematch is offered to him now it's basically too late he just wants to retire and do other things so let me know what you guys think a lot of people are also mad that Nurmagomedov didn't get the fight with Eddie Alvarez or Conor McGregor, namely Eddie Alvarez. And let me know if you think Conor McGregor is getting unfair 
favoritism and treatment based on his star power. I mean, I, I like Conor McGregor because he's a he's a salesman. He's entertaining. Like he drilled Jeremy Stevens with that. Who the f who the fuck is that guy? Like that he just burned him with that. That was that was horrible. Jeremy stepped up, got on the mic, and he he wasn't. You can't. See, you can't do certain things. Conor McGregor is a good trash talker. You know what I mean? So you have to be on like a Nate Diaz level to compete and go back and forth. You don't want to just jump in and not be ready for it. Let me know what you guys think of Conor McGregor. Do you think he's getting unfair treatment? Also, do you think he's bare knuckle fighting? Drop that in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the videos always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.